Good morning everybody. It is Monday the 29th of November. We haven't done a weekly vlog for a while, so we're going to do one, hopefully. <laughs> um, well, what's been going on? Not a lot. We've, it's been up and down with illnesses lately. I had a cough and cold for four weeks, chest infection. If you watch my colouring videos, you'll notice there haven't been many and that's why I'm trying to get back into it now. I'm at work, I've got no headset because it's broken, I'm waiting for anyone to come in, they've ordered them, and then we have to come and stop from a supplier and then, then they'll get one sent out to me, hopefully it won't be too much longer, although at the moment I'm not too bothered because I have a stinking headache, because yesterday I had my uh, Covid booster shot, uh, which was the Moderna vaccine, which is fine, I don't care, she said, are you alright with that? I went, yeah, <laughs> why wouldn't I be? And um, I was fine last night, a bit tired, and now I've got a stinking headache, my arm's aching a bit. It's not too bad at the moment, but it was aching when I woke up. I mean, I don't lie on that side, so it's fine. I'm a bit achy, full of cold. So I'm just uh, doing emails. Um, Zed's grown a lot. He sometimes comes up and sit on the bed when I'm working behind me. If he does, I'll show you him, uh, just so that you can see how he's grown. He's grown up so much, he's too sweet. He comes up to bed and sleeps with me and snuggles up either in the crook of my legs, bottom of my feet, or even right up here on my chest. Keeps me warm, it's very sweet. <laughs> Doesn't like to be apart from, from me and Paul and Jen. He's gotta be with one of us all the time, otherwise he cries. <laughs> I hate leaving him. He's such a cuddly cat, he's such a, a friendly cat, and he just wants to be with you all the time. So, you know, when he wants to be on his own, he just goes off on his own and he goes into his bed or behind the sofa, you know, to leave him, so. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with work, I'll see you after, and I will try to remember to vlog all week. So this is what Zed does when I'm working, he sits on my bed, sits on the bed and watches me. As you see there's colour charts next to him. He just sits there, he might go to sleep, but mostly he just sits there and watches. Sometimes he might come over for a cuddle, he'll jump on the back of the chair and put his uh, paws on my shoulder. He's so cute. So I was on my way to the office to pick up a headset because I was asked to and I can hear this funny rattling noise at the back left hand side of the car and then it gets really bad and I start to wobble so I don't like pull over, pulled over and the flipping tyres ripped off the wheelbase so I don't know what's happening now. Um, I've reported it to the RAC, I'm just waiting for them to come out and have a look at it, it's awful. Hopefully the, 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 the alloy, the wheel itself isn't broken. And it, you can put just put the spare on. Now, I don't even know if there's a spare in here. I'm assuming it's in the boot. I usually have a man do all this for me who's had COVID. So I'm hoping, you know, he's all right. And I'm hoping that they're not going to take too long. i got to keep checking my phone because they'll, they'll let me know what's going on. It's a bloody nightmare. Supposed to be going to get a headset for work. So hopefully, if he's not too long, I'll still be able to go and get it. Paul's going to pick up Jennifer. And what a Monday already. Uh, yeah. Is it bedtime yet? That's what's happened. As you can see, it's come right off. I'm hoping there's a spare in the boot. There should be, but we'll have to see what happens when the lovely RAC man, whose also, name's also Paul, gets here. So the lovely man from the RAC has put the spare tire on it, which is the right state. I'm now at my local tire place, Phil Harvey's. Um, I'm getting a new tire. <laughs> it's terrible, look, I'll show you. That's the spare. So Phil's taking the uh, ripped to shreds one away. I'm going to have to wait for the lovely bloke to put the new one on. I'm a bit busy this, this afternoon. Poor Jennifer wanted to come with me, but she couldn't. There we are. All back home safe with my baby girl now. New tyre, all done, 50 quid. Not too bad. Love Phil Harvey. So yeah, fair play to the RAC good boy Paul and to Phil at Phil Harvey Tyres in Riska. Thank you so much. I know they probably won't see this. Just want to give him a shout out. So if you are in the Riska area, use Phil Harvey Tyres. He's a bloody brilliant bloke. My little girl. Cat's gone off somewhere. He was asleep here, but he's gone. There's, there's Paul over there and uh, we're all snuggled up on the sofa, aren't we, Jen? Whose head is this? You're faces. You gonna say hello? Ah. <gasps> 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 you silly girl. Mwah. Love you. Anyway, I'm still shattered. I'll see you in a bit. And I might do some filming. Hopefully. <gasps> What's the matter? Oh no. And they're upstairs. Ah. Nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, 
that's my day over. I've had a shower. His head's around somewhere at the bottom of the bed, I think. I'm gonna dry my hair, do my colouring, go to sleep. Hell of a day. I'm telling you, hell of a day. Ugh, at least I got my headset, that's the main thing. And I've got a nice new tire on the back of my car. I'm actually shattered. But yeah, it's good. Everything's fine. Zed, hello, you okay? Here's, look, look, look at this, look at this. Are you coming here? The floor's a real mess, I know. Eee. Yeah, it's a mess. It's got to be tidied up. Oops. Sorry about that. Anyway, you'll be up on the bed in a bit. All curled up with me, so I'll see you tomorrow and we'll do it all again. Although hopefully without the instance with the car tie going, because yeah, that was scary. But other than that, we can do working and, and playing with Jen and the cat eating things. Um, yeah, I'm tired. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday. 30th of November. Oh, there's Jen coughing, bless her. I've only just got up. It's about 10, just gone down by six. Got my cup of tea. Zed's eating his breakfast. We now know that his preferred food is Whiskers Kitten. <laughs> Battery's running out, so I'll charge that up while I'm working. And uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on with the day. I've got my toast. I've got some addressing to do for some parcels. Didn't do it last night. I can do it now after I've had my breakfast. So, yeah, I will see you a bit later after I finish work. I might show you my new headset. Might not. You'll probably see it at some point. So, oh, it is Wednesday afternoon. If you're wondering what happened to me yesterday evening and afternoon and this morning, I left the camera at my mum's when we got home last night and I thought, oh, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to go back there and get it. I'll just do it when I get the next time, which is today. So, Jennifer's here. You're a good girl, aren't you, Jen? Have another. What have you got? Show them what you've got. Um, a Magnum ice cream. White chocolate ice cream, she loves them. Um, but she has had, to be fair, she's been really good. She had, I know it's you, spaghetti bolognese at nursery and she had two plates of it. So she deserves a treat, so why not? I'm about to have some lunch. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm reading as long as I can find it, because there's a book here. And I'm not sure where it's come. Uh, uh, I'm gonna see if I can find it now. Here you are, Jen. Is the remote con ah, is your remote control? You know how to work it. Do it yourself. <laughs> now you know how to work the remote control, pretty I much. Do. I got three hands. Oh, you got three hands, have you? That's new. What do you want to watch? Um, do you want to watch the naughty elf? Yeah. Do you watch the elf? No. Peppa Pig. I know that one. You want Peppa Pig? Right. You're not getting that one, you're getting the better one than that. Okay. I like that one though. We'll get what you're given. She has a more expensive one and she likes a cheap one. If I'd have known that, I'd have ordered the cheaper one for Christmas. That's kids though, isn't it? I found the book I'm trying to read, which is The Le Letters from the Dead by Sam Hercom. Don't waste my game. Don't touch my phone. So, yeah, it's really good. I'm trying to read it. I'm so tired, I fell asleep. Not that the book's boring, because it's not. It's really good. I'm actually really enjoying it. Now, the cat's come in. Cheeky chop there, trying to play with my phone. Leave my phone. No! Sorry, Zed, I didn't mean to clonk your head. Eve, what are you doing? What are you doing? You already turned salt and vinegar crisps? <laughs> you are. They gave him to you. The cat's licking himself. Hello, cat. We're going to put some more baubles on the tree in a minute. Uh -oh. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. Don't do that. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I don't want them. <laughs> are you showing everybody offering them a crisp? And Zed's there. <laughs> What are you doing, Zed? Yeah, buddy. Oh, I got the camera. I got the camera. <laughs> okay, everybody. It is Wednesday night. I have now filmed my uh, book haul, uh, colouring book and supplies haul, um, and that is going up. 
will be going up as soon as I've got it um, edited together. I'm just putting it onto the computer now. I've been watching a lot of booktube and it's made me excited to read again. And the silly thing is, I've read over 200 books this year already. One of which I can't find because it's in this room and this room needs tidying up because it's the right state. But I know it's somewhere safe. I just gotta find where I've put it. So I'll be having a look for that shortly. Because uh, I need it for Saturday because I'm gonna do a TikTok on it. Um, I'm not going to be buying a lot of books. I've got so much to read and I will show you that uh, another day when I'm doing my update as I'm not getting up again. I've just been up and down five times, sorting out more than five times, getting these colouring books sorted out. Excuse me, we all... And, um, so what I thought I'd do is in my weekly vlog, because sometimes there's not a lot to vlog about because nothing actually happens, I thought I would put what I'm reading and what I think about the books I'm reading into the weekly vlog. So it'd be like weekly reading vlog and whatever I get up to. Um, newest update on work is we won't be going back till the end of March, beginning of April because they're refurbing the office and they've only just got the funding. They were supposed to start it last month but they've got more money than they uh, were expecting so they're going to make it even nicer which is lovely. We're only in two days a week so <laughs> that's not too bad. Um, got more Christmas, a load of Christmas presents for Jennifer and I today although one of them we're going to hold back for her birthday because she's got so much again and she doesn't need it all um yeah I've got to tidy up this mess there's colouring books everywhere huge stack of Christmas colouring books some I've coloured in some I haven't um but let's get on to uh the books that I am currently trying to read and I'll explain why I'm trying in a minute. So the first one I've been reading a while is called 40 Days with Marilyn by Hans Jorgen Lembon. Oh, is it Lembon? Lembon? Yeah I think it also was called The Diary of a Lover of Marilyn Monroe. The subtitle it's not on this one. I thought there's another one that's similar. Um, this is paperback came out in 77 so I'm trying to just take me ages to read. Back when I got it it was like I devoured absolutely everything with Marilyn now it's getting harder and harder to read this sort of stuff for which i'll explain when i let you know what i think at the end the next one's even harder i've been trying to read this for a good couple of months since i picked it up well i got it sent to me months ago and that is this one and you can imagine why it's taken me a while to do it bombshell bombshell the night bobby kennedy killed marilyn monroe right okay because you know don't believe that for a second because she barely knew Bobby Kennedy and she did admire him um, but it's very very hard to read because there's so much nonsense in these books I'd rather read Michelle's book on the subject of that sadly Michelle I lent my paperback copy that you signed for me at the National Portrait Gallery to my next door neighbour and I hadn't had it back when the fire happened so I no longer have it so I will have to buy another copy of the paperback and get you to sign it another time I normally read the paperback rather than the hardback because there's obviously more information in the paperback but also because I don't want to wreck the hardback because I love it but uh, if I want to read it I either have to read it on Kindle or on that. So yeah, that one. And I'm reading, as I mentioned, Letters from the Dead by Sam Hercom. I'm quite into this now. It's taken a bit to get into it but I am really enjoying it. Um yeah good old miss bit of mystery this was uh one of the three for five pound books from oops the works i do pick up quite a lot there because my mum's always saying oh get me some books to read i'm like yes mum, i'll go to the works get three for a five and i usually buy one something i really like the look of which was this one and then two that are for her and um, she has the two i have the one and then when i finish the one i take it over and when she finishes the one she's got um I have them like my dad got her two from the charity shop today one I've already read which is Paula Hawkins girl on the train I said you'll enjoy that it's a good book and another one by Maeve Binchy or whatever her name is which I probably haven't read but I will um it's just I got so many books like I said so many books to read I will show you a part of my TBR and it is only part of my TBR actually I'll show you, I will get up and show you now because I'm still waiting for the computer to load everything I'll just turn you off and I'll come show you part of it this is okay so on top of my Marilyn this is my Marilyn bookcase Marilyn bookcase Iron bookcase. There's all sorts of junk in front of it, but I think they stacked three deep, and they could go quite high. Those and the non-fiction ones there at the end. There are five there on that shelf at the top. Uh, one's a Shakespeare thing. 
three Marin fictional books and then a giant book on London uh, which I think is called Lost in London or London no un London Uncovered and that probably won't take me long to read so I might pull that down because I need that shelf for something else so there's all those there that's uh, three deep at least a, 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 three deep and at least most of it not all of it because the the, the non-fiction is only one deep I think it's three deep it might only be two deep might be three deep with paperback two deep with hardbacks and there's another five there and on top of that I have my reading pile that's next to my bed which has one two three four five six books on it um and downstairs uh, I have no hang on in the other bedroom which is the master where Paul is there is um a bedside table that's got four stacks of books on it slowly I'm bringing them in and then downstairs, I have got a whole shelf of books um, underneath, behind the TV, um, where we've got a load of stuff shelved. We keep our PlayStation games and my Stephen King books. Stephen King's got two shelves and there's some, like the authors I collect, like um, in paperback, like Andrew Cartmel and uh, Jody Taylor, stuff like that. And Michelle Morgan. And then there's a few others that I'm keeping that I like, like my Persephone paperback. I love those books. I need to get some more of them. And then there's a whole shelf of stuff that are secondhand books that I've been given by my, my dad or that I've picked up. And I and, and more keep coming because my mum reads so fast. All she does all day pretty much is read. Um, she watches a bit of TV, but does other, you know, makes tea and, and stuff like that. But she's retired. Mostly she if she reads, watches TV and does weird searches. That's it. Those are her hobbies. But she reads so fast. So yeah, so what is Letters from the Dead about? I'll, I'll just read you the back. So it says, 1905. Forensic photographer Thomas, I'm going to have to get this close because it's quite dark in here, Bexley has become a drunkard and a recluse haunted by terrible visions of the dead. But when news reaches him that his former mentor, Elijah, Elijah Hawthorne, is the lead suspect behind a spate of extraordinary kidnappings, Thomas embarks on a perilous journey to prove his friend's innocence. Wherever Thomas goes, he is followed by the dead, and as the mystery of Hawthorne's disappearance deepens, so too does Thomas' apparent insanity. How can Thomas be certain of the truth when he can't trust anybody around him not even himself it's a great cover i saw the hardback on somebody's youtube this morning and thought wow that looks, the, the hardback was fantastic at the moment i am not collecting books unless i'm keeping them so these books that are cheap three for a five or from the second hand shop that's fine because I can take them down to Tesco where they've got their charity bookshelf and, and they can put them there. Um, like I said, this one will go to mum's. Um, probably will even stop buying them now because the library is reopened. Yes! So once I get a dent in this, I will go and borrow some from the library. because I like my local library. It's a fantastic place. Anyway. I am going to crack on because my, my videos are on the computer. I'm going to go and get this uh, edited together. Another reason why I don't want to do full wrap-ups and stuff like that is because I, I read a lot on my Kindle or on my phone. It uh, takes a long time to edit it together. So what I have to do is show, you know, put it, import it. But whereas what I could do is just download a picture onto my um, tablet and show you it that way bring it up on Amazon on my tablet and show you them that way when I'm talking about them during my weekly reading vlog and my weekly general vlog this week might be quite a good vlog with what happened on Monday and my haircut on Saturday and Jennifer's going to a birthday party so I don't actually have to go Paul's taking her then he's going out and I'll be putting some makeup on and doing face-to-face -face TikToks. There's no way I'm appearing on TikTok without some makeup on. You guys know me. If you're interested in checking out my TikToks, my camera channel, which has only got five videos on it, is Andrea the Camera Gal, all one word, and it's G-A-L. And the Marilyn channel is Marilyn underscore and underscore me. So if you want to check out those two, be my guest there'd probably be more on the Marilyn one to be going on with because I've got a lot of stuff I can do with that 
with the cameras it's just showing them as I get them in or as I'm selling them or listing them or if I'm taking photographs we're in winter now so I don't take as many photographs outside I have got a few things to do before I go to bed so I'm gonna see you in the morning and uh, you never know what might happen it's Thursday tomorrow we're nearer the weekend yay okay so Thursday the 2nd of December so as you gathered I'm not doing a vlogmas this year I'm still just gonna do the weekly vlog weekly weekly freedom vlog all together oh this morning was a nightmare Jennifer decided to get up at 20 to, to 5 which is it's not that early my alarm goes off at 20 to 6 I get up about 6 because um, I like to have time on my own before I have to deal with everybody else uh, unfortunately that wasn't the case she was up and she wasn't going back to bed she didn't want to go back to bed she had a bad dream uh, so if you can hear the fan I do apologize I always get really hot first thing in the morning after all the running around she um, wanted to come in with me so she came in with me and then she wouldn't go to sleep and the cat was scratching about because he wouldn't settle because she was in here and I've got to be honest oh it did my head in so in the end we got up early not horrendously early but oh excuse me but uh, earlier than I would normally get up and um uh, my breakfast a couple of cups of tea and then she didn't want to get ready for nursery so we were late getting out and then when we got out uh, um I've discovered that the bottom of the hill Gasly Avenue is closed for works, road works. Now they don't normally close it, they normally have it on a three way light system, which they've had for the last couple of days. Not a problem with that. Problem with it being that is you have to go all the way around the houses to get out of the estate. I don't know the estate very well, I haven't lived in the estate fully for over 30 years, for nearly 30 years. It was 1992 when I left, so it's 30 years ago next year. So I'm trying to work at the same time. Yep, number of position six. Um, so yes, very hard work. So I was almost late for work this morning. I didn't actually get onto the computer until 54. So usually I get it on about 22. I don't log in early, but I get it in and set up so everything's ready to go and I can sit and drink my tea. Oh, I'm shattered. I'm going to want to sleep this afternoon. So I've just uploaded my um, coming in book and supplies haul, which I filmed last night. Tonight I will be filming my completed pages. And then Friday night I will be filming my colouring chat. Saturday night I will be filming TikToks and I won't be filming anything for the colouring channel then until Monday when we'll do another colouring chat. So yeah I've got to find the things I want for my Marilyn TikToks. I'm also going to be doing some camera TikTok just simply because Paul's out. Jennifer's at a birthday party in the afternoon she's going to be practically shattered um, in the evening so I'm hoping she'll go to bed early or at least on time and then I will just come up I'll get my makeup on because my hair's done on Saturday. Put some makeup on, and I will do my TikTok. So I, I'm going to just pre-film three or four um, f for Marilyn, three or four, a couple for the camera channel, and then I'll just pop them up here and there. So I don't put that many up, so it's not too bad. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with my work because you know I've got emails to do, and I'm going to sneeze. I'll see you later. Okay, so I finished my shift. Yay! Thursday's over. It's Thursday today, isn't it? Yeah, it's football today. Um, I've been watching um, book two this morning, so that's uh, mostly, obviously, about books. I found a few books I wanted, so I've been on and I've um, bought an audible one of something called Ghostland. I'll get the cover up for you. And it's a series of ghost stories by the sound of it. Um, I saw it on Savage Reads. Um, like I said, I'll find the cover for it and I'll show you it later. And I thought, I'll listen to that tonight on Audible while I'm waiting, well, while uh, Paul, I can think of his name then, bless him. Whoops! Paul is waiting, watching the football because we're going to cut his hair tonight because we tried last night and the clippers weren't working because they weren't charged up. So they're charged up now. So when Jennifer's in bed, we're going to finish his hair, and then he'll watch the football, which is on quarter past eight, and I'll sit there f and just for the first forty-five minutes, listen to a bit of Audible before I go upstairs and film my completed pages for November, and I'll also colour while I'm doing it. So. I used to do that all the time. I used to sit with him for at least half the football and listen to an audiobook while I coloured and I'm going to do that tonight. It'd be nice. So yeah, I'm going to check the oil on my car if we go to mum and dad's because the only place I'm going to do it because it's on the flats. I do it before we leave. I've got a really stinking cold. I'm sniffling away. I just want to go to bed, drink lots of hot drinks and sleep and read and just chill. It's not going to happen. 
the most I can look forward to is going to sleep on the sofa. However, Virgin Media are down in most areas for TV services. I don't know if ours is. I haven't. Just waiting to see if somebody crashes. Actually checked. So I'm going to get Jennifer and then see if she wants to go to Grandad's or not. I'm just see what happens. Right, Nanny and Grandad's, but she wanted to come, then she didn't. Fresh, please, if you've got any, but if not, it's fine. And Grand has made me a big bowl of stew. Yummy, 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 yummy. Back home now, and I wanted to show you this book. Uh, this is a book I picked up on Tesco's charity bookshelf for 50p. It's massive. It's a novel, obviously. The Memoirs of Cleopatra by Margaret George. Very big. It is falling apart, so. As you see, it's come. This binding's come apart, but that's fine. If I really like it, I'll tra track down another copy of it and I'll get rid of that one. But uh, this is my problem. I keep getting new books. Not that that's new. I'm not reading them. So I'm really tired. Jennifer's really tired. I'm going to take, take the three books I'm trying to work on downstairs along with some colouring. I sit on the sofa and uh, try not to fall asleep. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. So I'll say, how many pages is in this book? Obviously there's a lot of notes and things. It's a shame it's falling apart though. Finney is page 957, so that's quite a big book. I don't think I will read that this year. I love the Calva, so I might have to see if I can get another copy of it. Because that's beautiful. Anyway, I'll see you downstairs in a bit. Okay guys, it's Thursday evening and uh, Jennifer's in bed. She's been a bit of a pain this afternoon because Virgin Media's been off. It's back on, but uh, the internet's not going through the TV for some reason. So nothing's streaming. Paul had to watch football on his uh, Fire, uh, his Amazon Fire uh, tablet because he can't get on Prime on TV. So just wait. It is. The internet itself is working, so I can watch it on my smart TV because. That connects via the Wi-Fi rather than via Virgin Media TV. Very weird. If you're wondering why I'm out of breath, I've got a cold again and I'm wheezing badly. I was going to film tonight, but I just don't feel up to it. I'm so tired. I did have a little doze earlier on. There's some very strange dreams. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to come up and uh, listen or read some books for a bit. Probably read if I can. If not, because um, my eyes might start hurting, I will just go to sleep or I'll listen to an audiobook. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to have a think about that. Won't be a sec. So this is the book I was referring to that I was reading. Um, it's the sequel to, um, do they know it's Christmas yet, where they accidentally um, get Bob Geldof in an, in, in an accident on the day he's supposed to watch the news report that um, inspires him to create Band-Aid. They go back in time on a Citroen C5. There's a C5 there. That's by James Crooks. It's very funny. There's a lot of swearing in it, so I wouldn't give it to my mum, because she doesn't like that. She's quite old-fashioned. Uh, but yeah. So I am actually enjoying it. It's so bizarre. It's funny, but it is very, very bizarre. So I am enjoying this. Um, I'm, I'm actually showing this on my um, tablet, because, you know, why not? It's all synced, so I can watch it on my ta I can read it on my tablet if I wanted to read it tonight because my eyes are stinging and I don't think I could focus on my phone. I can read it on my Kindle, which is downstairs, and I can read it on my phone. I love that. Uh, so I've put it on here. Uh, so I'm going to put it back to the page I'm on, which is 101. Here we go. There we are. Pretty much where I was anyway. So I'm going to read this in a bit and I'll get the one up the other one up that I'm reading, uh, that I'm listening to actually, is Jennifer, look, isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> and this is the one I'm listening to, Ghostland in Search of a Haunted Country by Edward Parnell. I saw this on Savage Reads channel. Uh, this is the one I'm listening to on Audible. Edward Parnell found himself trapped in a recurring nightmare of a family tragedy. To comfort, he turned to his bookshelves, back to the ghost stories that obsessed him as a boy, and throughout throughout the ages who attempted to confront what came after death. In Ghostland, Parnell goes in search of the sequestered places of the British Isles, our lonely moors, moss-covered cemeteries, or our stark shores and folkloric woodlands. 
This was how these landscape conjured and shaped kaleidoscope of spectrum literature and cinema, from the ghost stories and weird fiction of M.R. James, Arthur Mackin and Algernon Blackwood, children's fantasy novels of Alan Garner and Susan Cooper, from W.G. Sibold's Rings of Saturn and Graham Swiss Waterland to the archetypal archetypal folk horror film The Wicker Man. Ghostland is Parnell's moving exploration of what's haunted our writers and artists and what's haunting him. It's unique and elegiac ele meditation on grief, memory and longing and redemption power of stories and nature. It is actually very interesting. I like ghost stories. So, uh, some good reviews. Yeah, some good reviews. So, yeah, looking forward to reading that one. So, I'm feeling really rough. I don't even know what time it is. I know it's not late. Uh, what time is it? It's, it's 25 past nine. I'm actually going to go to bed. I might uh, just go try and get some sleep. I can always read later. Oh, excuse me, Stiffly. Like I said, I do apologise. I just feel so rotten today. I don't know where this has come from. I probably got it from Jen. She always wiping her nose on me. That's kids, though, isn't it? Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. I'll try and do it all again. Preferably without this runny nose and a tingle in my nostrils. I'm still reading the other ones as well. Well, I'm, I've made a bit more progress on this one. Um, I want to try and finish this before my hair appointment on Saturday. So I want to take the running man. And... Uh, 40 Days for Marilyn, it won't take me too much longer and Bombshell, who knows when I'm going to finish that because it's crap, basically I'll see you in the morning Night. Good morning, it's Friday, 3rd of December and I'm so glad it's the weekend Four and a half hours and I'm free I'm still full of cold, I feel chesty, coffee I'm going to do a lateral flow test in a moment just to make sure see what's going on hopefully it's negative uh That diversion's doing my head in. It's the last day today, so it's not too bad. But by tomorrow, it should be back to normal. But yeah, I'm gonna do a test, getting myself set up because I've only got seven minutes before I start. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'll let you know the outcome later. Okay, I finished work now, so I am going to oh, go to get ready to get Jennifer. I've got to take my dad shopping because it's Friday. Just watching a bit of booktube and watching some people for a minute before I go and get ready. Um, I'm going to try and finish reading Conversations with Marilyn tonight so I can TikTok it tomorrow along with Mimosa. I haven't really read Bombshell enough to comment on that yeah i might try and have a go at that tonight but i also want to get a good chunk of the letters from the dead done like i did yesterday um with did they sell a million yet i tend to read and i'll admit it i read while i'm eating always i've done because my mum and does and my dad does and it's something we've always done um so i tend to just scoop through it or if i'm sitting on the sofa and jennifer's wanting to sit on my lap and cuddle which she does sometimes uh, i can't hold a kindle can't hold a book can't color so but i can hold my phone so i'll hold my phone and i'll read that then planning my reading for next year i want to clear those that top shelf um there is a very long 40 book series up there that starts that follows this one family from very early on right through to the modern day it's not the whole book i know there's at least one missing they were given to me so i'm not worried whether i read them or not they're falling apart and everything um so what i'll do is i'll get the very first one out and i'll read that and if i like the series i will carry on with it and get the book i'm missing there's one missing in the middle somewhere if i don't if i can't get into it i'll just throw them away you know, I don't know the ones that are in good good condition because you can still read them as individual stories, but it does follow the story, you know, of, of this family. Um, that's right at the back, so I thought I don't want to get to that. But I'm thinking the one I want to read next off of that list is How Green Is My Valley. It's up there somewhere because um, I'm thinking, well, it would be next year, but one of the first books I read is next year. Well, it was something I was going to do was read the book and watch the film. And I've done that with a couple. Well, I've done it with one. I did it with Rebecca. Um, and this is the original film, not the remake. Um, and I've read Jamaica Inn and I've got the film but I haven't watched it so I might have to watch that and I've got the film of How Green Was My Valley and if not I'm not sure whether I've got it I might have it it is on my old movies app but I know I've got the book and the same with Wuthering Heights I've got the film and I can get the book as a free download anyway 
so yeah i've got a few plans for reading next year i'm gonna do a lot more talking about books again because reading really is my first love um my dad and my mum taught us to read and we're so used to seeing them with books in their hands when we were growing up it was second nature we just copied what they did so we all read and by the time we were old enough to rebel we still loved reading i was reading agatha christie when i was eight or nine so i remember going to um when i was a kid with my mum going to the mobile library and getting them from there well when i was older i'd go to blackwood library with freya my best friend and check out books and stuff tapes cds later on again from there mostly tapes and uh, but uh, when i was too young to go into blackwood on my own I would go to the mobile library, I remember it. I can remember the smell of it. I loved it. I think they, it was great living out in a village, having the mobile library come round. The, the librarian was told pretty much to let me have what I wanted because I'd read all the kids' books by this point. There was nothing else. If if something new came in, they'd let me know. And I'd think, oh, yeah, I'll read it. I'll give it a go. But I was reading Agatha Christie when I was eight or nine. Now I, I, I can still read them, but I, I find it a struggle because I read them when I was so young. The writing seems easy. Yeah, I do struggle with certain classics, which is something I want to have a go at next year. I'm determined to get through Les Mis. I never finished reading it. I got through most of it. It just he waffles on. I want to read the Brothers Karamazov, or the Karamazov Brothers. Um, Some of me talk about reading War and Peace for ages. It's such a big book. Uh, but yeah, I do like that. And I want to get some more Thomas Hardy into my collection, um, the Folio Society ones. I do buy the second-hand versions of the older versions on eBay because they're cheaper. Uh, I, I do, I've got one to read, it's um, Return of the Native, so that's on my bedside pile. So yeah, right, I'm going to go and get ready to get Jennifer and I'll see you in a bit. Hey everybody, it's Saturday morning, it's Jennifer having some lunch before she goes to Daisy's birthday party. I'm going to get my hair cut. I'm not going to the party. Paul's taking her. Oh, no. So, yeah, I'm just going to get my hair touched up and a bit of a trim. I know it's short, but it needs to keep on top of it. Yeah, i got my book. So I'm taking... I was going to take the running man, but I haven't finished this yet. So, I'm taking letters from the dead to try and finish that. And I'll see you when I get back. Hey, guys, I'm back from the hairdressers. There's a lot more blonde in the top. I like it. Um... So Jennifer and Paul's at the party, so I've got a bit of peace and quiet. There's a few things I need to do, but hey, Paul's out tonight, so look at Zed. He just in on me. I'm watching uh, Tori from the Oz vlog, the Oz vlog on TikTok. She also has a channel on YouTube. Brilliant. Um, yeah, and just had some lunch and just relaxing until Madam and Sir get back in. I hope you like the hair. Look at this cat. See you in a bit. Okay, it's Saturday night. I want to do some TikTok, but I don't think it's going to be happening. It's been a nice day until now. Zed just jumped up at my face, trying to grab my hair, and stuck his claws in my nose and made me bleed. Shut him in the kitchen because I can't deal with that right now. He's all right. I'll feed him in a minute. He'll be okay. Jennifer won't go to bed because Paul's not here. She's the same every time he goes out. She doesn't want to go to bed. And frankly, I'm just tired and I want to go to sleep. If I can, I will do a TikTok or two. I was going to do loads so that I had some ready to go up. But I'm kind of thinking, what's the point? You know, I don't even know how to do it properly, so what's the point? I don't know how they edit them together and make them look really cool. I have no idea. Probably never will. Feeling a bit old, a bit fragile, a bit useless right now. But I'll keep you updated. And I still haven't finished my book. Okay, guys, yes, I've got makeup on because I've just been filming my TikToks, but I couldn't find my lipstick. I had to wear Vintage Pink by Avon instead of Revlon's Kiss Me Coral, and I am gutted because I had it the other day. It was here, and I bet it was on the side, and the cat's knocked it off, so I'm going to have to find it tomorrow. I'm going to tidy up. Put some stuff away. It's a right state in here, I'm telling you. You do not want to see the mess. Ugh, colouring books everywhere. Excuse me. <coughs> I need a drink. So, yes, I've just filmed four Marilyn TikToks that will be going up over the course of the next few days. First one tonight, then probably one Monday. As I work through the next lot, there will be more being filmed. I'm filming them on my phone rather than a TikTok app. I do need to learn how to do TikTok properly because I'm basically crap at it. 
so yeah i'm not i'm not the best but hey it's all a bit of fun and i've broken yet another tripod somehow so yes i'm going to put the books that i have used away apart from one i haven't read and the one i'm reading and i just got to decide what book to feature next anybody who's seen my marilyn book collection what book should i feature next on my tiktok because my tiktok i've got two the camera one but i've got one that is purely dedicated to marilyn so what would you like to see on my marilyn tiktok um it doesn't have to be books it could be other things as well and if i can get to them because some of them are in the attic because of storage space especially since we had jennifer let me know and i will certainly be able to uh um show you uh reading updates haven't read any more of this yet but there's not much left so i'm gonna try and finish that tonight still haven't really got into that one of the tiktoks was about whether or not i should read it into bunket and put notes in it then letters from the dead i took it to the hairdresser and i have got a good way through it there's not much left that one is doable within the next day or so yay and i have read a little bit more excuse me, i'm just getting comfortable of um the sequel to do they know it's christmas yet which is have they stolen a million yet i'm actually <coughs> I'm having a cough i am enjoying it the only thing is there's a lot of swearing in it and while i swear myself i don't swear like that and that's why i haven't let my given it to my mum put it on her kindle because she does not like a lot of swearing she's very old school she does swear but not to the extent that it's four in a row or every other word but yeah so reading's going fine i mean i haven't finished a book in December yet but hey i'm at 201 books that i have read this year one of them being this which i haven't managed to put on goodreads yet because it's not actually on there i'm planning on keeping a reading journal next year i've been looking at reading journals on youtube and on tiktok and i like them i know i keep good reads but i you know i want to do a a video a film one as well i did start doing a film one and i never finished it because maybe it was the books i've got a book somewhere that i want to use let me see if i can find it it's just this little a5 notebook it's got marilyn on the front and it's really cute i plan on transcribing everything from my original two movie books into this book because why not because i don't like the way they're set up i don't want to put tons of information in them all i want to do is pretty much keep a list of everything i'm watching because i like to know and i might put you know was it a, a you know award you know O for oscar winner or something like best picture bpo best picture oscar because i have watched quite a few of best pictures more than i thought um but yes, but I've ordered a book specifically for a reading journal. And I'm going to decide. I'm going to plan it out before I do it and get it ready. I might need more than one, though, because the way I read... Excuse me. And I said I'd get a notebook for my mum around the same size, like an A5 one. I might get one like this, but with Elvis on the front for her. And we'd write down how much she read and we can compare notes on how much uh, we've both read in a year. She will outstrip me 10 to 1 easy if i've read 201 books this year she's probably read a thousand that's all she does she loves to read like i said fortunately the libraries are back open now so i'm gonna work my way across the top of my bookcase to get rid of the books that i'm not keeping read the ones i want to keep and pop them away and then i will go to the library and only buy ones that are really cheap or ones I'm keeping. What I need to get is the sequel to The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman, which is The Man Who Died Twice. I haven't got it yet. Maybe I'll get it at Christmas. I'm going to go now because I've waffled enough. I've waffled a lot. I mean, it's only two minutes, but on this one nearly. But I waffled for quite a while on, on, on TikTok as well, even though they're only going up one at a time. And yeah, I will be filming more i do enjoy doing it i just wish i knew how to do all the fancy stuff i don't and i haven't got the patience to learn maybe i will who knows anyway i'll see you soon well i'll see you in the morning actually i like the makeup the makeup's looking quite nice should i sing marilyn on tiktok should i do my marilyn impression maybe maybe not good morning it is now sunday 5th of december 
and my voice sounds really really croaky but I'm okay <coughs> I'll be all right I'm just gonna get dressed we're gonna go shopping get our food in get some diesel if they've got any at the uh, the garage I hope so because I'm on two bars um and what's the plan for today well I'm gonna tidy up this room put the washing away do some more washing which is always what I do I have to do it after we've done the shopping this is uh pop in to see my mum because she wants uh, a few bits from shopping so order of the morning will be diesel because we've got to go all around the houses to get to the shop because the road's still closed so we'll go down to Tesco first because we're pretty much there. Go shopping, go to Mum's, have a cup of tea, come home and have some lunch, put the shopping away. And then I will be putting another load of washing on, um, bringing up the washing that's already dry, putting that away. And then I'm going to have a tidy up in here because there are, there's a huge stack of colouring books. There's all my Marilyn scrapbooks and other stuff like that and I need to find somewhere to put it all so I can get some space into the room. So I'm also going to take the five books on top of the one shelf that's got also got my money boxes on it down so I can potentially start putting my either my diaries up there or my Ava Brown binders i'm probably going to put ava brown binders there because there is a gap between the wall and, and that bookcase and diaries could fall down the other one which has got books on hasn't got a gap next to it for some reason and so the diaries will probably go there but i'll put ava brown up there um that just means that the books up there will need to either go onto the other shelf or the big london uncovered one will come down and i'm going to read that next still reading 40 days for marilyn it is nearly done I didn't finish it last night because uh, I was watching uh, book journals on TikTok. I'm going to finish that one today, definitely. That's my plan. And I'm going to try and finish uh, Letters from the Dead. Uh, like I said, I like to eat and read at the same time because it's something we've always done at home. So that will be Did They Still a Million Yet? Which is the most... Uh, it is funny, I will admit. So the light keeps changing because the the thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to crack on, get dressed. Uh, get the shopping done. I did figure out that although I broke, well, the cheap tripod broke, I can still use this on my main big tripod that I use my DSLR on. So I'll be trying to film TikToks using this because it's got the screw-in thing for the base plate like, the, like, like I have on the camera. So I can use that with my main tripod. So I'll be trying that next time I film a TikTok. Didn't think of it last night, but I have now. And I'm just looking at all the fabulous books that are around so many fabulous books i love them all yes i am a big book person i love my books <laughs> and I'm, I'm well back into the reading and and stuff which is why i'm talking about it on the vlog a lot so i hope that's not too boring for you if i do finish 40 days of marilyn i'll try and let you know later before i uh, edit this if not you'll see it in next week's uh weekly reading and general life vlog I'm not filming two, be too confusing. Anyway, I better get on and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so back now. Shopping's done. Shopping's put away. We've had lunch. Except for Jennifer who doesn't want anything. She's too busy playing with Peppa Pig. She'll have some when she's hungry. And I'm gonna start putting the washing away. Mine and Jennifer's. Paul does his own. Um and then I'm going to tie up the bedroom. Cause there are colouring books everywhere, which is good but not good if you know what I mean so I love the fact that there are colouring books everywhere but I need to be sorting out so I'm going to do that get it tidy up ready for because I've got work tomorrow and at the moment I can't even get to my desk properly it's so much mess I'm just lazy I'm gonna lie uh I don't like it like this but I'm a lazy cow I'll admit it so gonna do that watch a bit of youtube while i'm putting the washing away and and uh, tidying up i always do and then i'll probably nip downstairs and get a drink when i need one and then carry on it's just what it is i'll let you know how it's going on in a while hey guys it's sunday night as you see i'm flushed i'm really hot we've had the heating on downstairs i'm actually boiling so hot that i've got the fan on um i have tidied up a bit it's not finished um you can see the floor <laughs> i'm joking i've moved the bed out so i can do this down the side of the bed uh, mainly because i never do that bit because i always prioritize the other side so i'm going to do a little bit of that before i go to sleep i just wanted to show you i just got this lovely coloring book from ava brown called pinup models i love this one i can't wait to color in this probably going to color in this one tomorrow at some point 
they're just so cute so i mean look at this look at this look at the hair, hair with the hair rollers i have put the ava brown folders on top of the bookcase yay as you can see there's still all those and i pulled this one down because this one's the big one this is lost london or covered um it's basically 60 unusual places to explore in london my brother bought that for christmas a few years ago and i haven't read it so i'm gonna look at that the photos in it are absolutely stunning look at that look at them it's a stunning book i know where it will live once i finally uh, have read it all and i want to show you something else so this is the notebook I've got. It's a hardback notebook with Celestial on the front and on the back. And it's uh, beautiful on the side. And this is literally just a, a gold end pages, a bronze end pages. A notebook with like, good lines and cream paper. And I'm going to use this for my book journal. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do it. I, because I, I've got till the end of the year because this is going to be for next year. So I am going to try and get that sorted um, between now and the end of December, as well as, as my tax return. I've got a return to do, I've got to send the label off. I was going to do it tonight, I just thought I can't do it tonight, I'll do it tomorrow, I'm too tired. Also can't find the cable for my laptop. So I'm hoping there's enough charge for me to do this. And I'll find the charge tomorrow, it's there somewhere. I've put all the Christmas books where those folders were that are up there. The whips are going under my uncoloured books. I've got moved those over there. And I'm slowly, slowly getting there. I might try and put some more of the Ava Brown ones I haven't put into folders, into folders. And that'll be another one up there. That will be five. I will then need to get some more folders. I need more Polly Pockets. I'm probably going to have to wait to the new year because I just can't afford it with Christmas. Very expensive. I just spent 100 odd quid on Christmas stuff today. I just did a big order from Amazon that's got stuff for my mum. Uh, it's got stuff for Paul. Mostly Paul and my mum. Dad, I still have got to sort out, but he's quite happy with a bottle of booze, some cigars, sweets and stuff like that. I mean, when they get to 81, there's not a lot you want, is there? Let's be honest. Got him a book for his birthday, though. So I'll get him a few bits and pieces um, when I go shopping near Christmas. We usually go and get cards and booze and all that good stuff. I just... I'll have a look, you know. I ordered, did order myself a T-shirt because my Manix T-shirt got a hole in it, so I've ordered a T-shirt to replace it. It's a Marilyn one. Um... So that'll be coming soon. That's nice. No colouring books. I'm I'm not buying colouring books now. I bought the two um I bought two Sasha and Sasha Diva ones. And of course I get my colour in heaven one and I get my over browns. I'm not buying colouring books. If somebody wants to buy me a colouring book, that is fine. They are more than welcome to, like my mum, dad, Chris. Although Chris I've only given them a list of DVDs and, and Hollywood related books. Um if people want to give me gift cards, I can then buy colouring books if I want to. I know Paul what, I know what Paul's got me. I don't. Uh, Jennifer's probably get me a colouring book, but I'm not that bothered. I've got plenty of colouring books to be going on with, which is why I'm trying to sort the shelves out and get some of my reading. But I am back really into my reading, so I'm going to clear this lot off. I'm going to try and finish uh, conversations with Marilyn, and then I'm going to look at London Uncovered. I probably won't colour tonight. I still only coloured one page this month. Normally, by now, I've coloured four or five patterns, and I'm just not bothered. Um, it's not that I'm in a colouring slump, I'm just not feeling... Uh, I don't want to colour at the moment. Um, I do want to colour in the pin-up book though, so that's that's good. And I have got some Christmas pages that I want to finish whips of, so I'm going to try and do a bit of that next week. Just, just going to have a nice easy December. I'll try and film a colouring chat tomorrow. I still haven't filmed my completed pages for November, so I might film that tomorrow, colouring chat Tuesday, and, and try and get it done. I'm just feeling quite chilled at the moment. It's getting towards Christmas, the end of the year. I'm being a bit lazy, I will admit. But that's okay. Anyway, I am off to bed. I hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. Um, I'll show you, if you're interested, how I set this out once I've done it in the vlog. And I'll let you know what I think of uh, London Uncovered. Like I said, although it's a big book, it's there's not a lot of writing in it. 
there is but it's not it'll take me a couple of days but it won't take long i'll just get it out of the way because it's freed up that space that i need for those lovely big folders of ava brown coloring books and i still got a load to put in joy see you tomorrow we'll do it all again bye <laughs>